Every year, 40,000 homes are approved for construction in Queensland, but the rapid pace of development comes at a cost, with millions of tonnes of construction waste buried every year. Lucy Murray reports. Two million tonnes. That's how much construction and demolition waste is sent to landfill in Queensland every year. It's enough to fill Lang Park Stadium twice over, and it's increasing with a 14% jump in just one year. In Brisbane South, Andrew Williams knocked down an old house to subdivide and build two new houses. He says none of the rubbish produced here will be recycled. On this particular site here, it's you know, being 10 metres wide on a very narrow street, um, to be able to, you know, to have more than one bin area uh, would be virtually impossible. Even if he could separate the waste, the industry body says there's no one to pick it up. There isn't really an industry. Uh, the, the waste handlers aren't interested in chasing around individual sites to collect uh, waste that can be recycled. The latest Queensland government figures show a significant increase in the recycling of building products, with a record amount recovered. But Paul Bidwell says this increase is exclusively coming from the commercial sector. It's a lack of scale in the housing sector, uh, which you've got in the commercial sector. Brisbane's Queens Wharf demolition created 63,000 cubic metres of waste, but 90% of this was recycled. It shows what's possible if the waste is easily accessible or if it's profitable for handlers to go and get it. Same like the paper, you know, if the normal paper is cheaper than the recycled paper, we won't buy it. So, so that is where the, uh, the government intervention will be necessary. Queensland Environment Minister Leanne Enoch says the waste levy to come in next year will create funding for new or enhanced facilities. She says it will also fund feasibility studies for innovative recycling projects. But for now, this waste is destined to be dumped in an old coal mine near Ipswich. Lucy Murray, ABC News.